Welcome to the weekly checkup on ReachMD for the week of August 10th, 2015. Starting us off this week is the first installment of Curious Headlines with ReachMD's Dr. Matt Bernholtz. 3D printed drugs are moving off the science fiction shelf and into real life with the recent FDA approval of Spritam, or brand name Leviteracetam. It's an anti-seizure medication from Apresia Pharmaceuticals and the first approved 3D printed drug ever to hit the open market. The drug is made through a proprietary technology first developed at MIT, which prints the active ingredient in layers to form dissolvable pills. Now, the manufacturer calls this a breakthrough for getting up to 1,000 milligrams of drug onto a pill that melts in your mouth faster than an M&M. And they're absolutely right. Drug compliance is definitely going to increase when epileptic patients suddenly don't have to weigh the risks of a seizure versus choking on a huge pill. But honestly, this story already won me over back at 3D printing. It's something we've already seen making headlines in prosthetics, devices, even organ regeneration, which are all fantastic. But the drug entry could make this even more mainstream and radically change the way we think about formulations, supply, ease of use, and overdose risks. And that last factor is gonna need some extra thought because if high dose, dissolvable drugs printed on a line at any point bring to mind those multicolored candy dots on parchment paper, we're definitely gonna need some new drug monitoring protocols. For ReachMD, I'm Dr. Matt Bernholtz. Look out for more curious headlines in upcoming weekly checkups. And now for our top programs this week. As part of this month's Focus on Children's Health, learn about cutting edge treatments for depression in children on updates from Mayo Clinic. On Clinician's Roundtable, join the conversation on how to keep your talented patients warbling in the interview, The Art of Caring for Professional Singers. It's more complicated than you think. After taking a stab at Do, Re, Mi, give your vocal cords and your patient's ears a rest to explore big picture elements of diabetes care in a new Diabetes Discourse episode, fostering a back to basics model in type two diabetes care. Illuminate your knowledge of dyslipidemia. Join us as we examine treatments in special populations, including women, the elderly, and the immune compromised on lipid luminations, special populations in patient-centered management of dyslipidemia. Lastly, though the summer's almost over and the number of beach days are dwindling, be sure to remain up to date on preventing and treating skin cancer on Primary Care Today. Get your fill of all of our featured content by visiting ReachMD.com or listening in on iHeartRadio or TuneIn. I'm Marshall Miller for ReachMD, inviting you to be part of the knowledge. Music